So Chris was really, 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 really worried about me. Like he was sweating and crying and everything, mainly because he didn't know what he was going to do without me if I died. Because five kids is enough to kill anybody. I was just trying to figure out dinner. <laughs> It is late at night. I have told you guys I was going to put up a vlog today. I haven't really vlogged. I've been so busy and it's been boring, but I am actually on my way to the ER. My chest hurts pretty bad. It's pretty tight. I've been fighting um, bronchitis for three months now, maybe two months, something like that. No antibiotics are working. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but I don't know. I just, my gut is telling me to go tonight. I'm just worried. I and my chest hurts really bad. So I'm gonna go to the ER and uh, find out what's going on with me. Hopefully they can do an x-ray or something and see if maybe, I don't know, who knows, we'll see. So I am in this beautiful, lovely gown and I have an IV. Ooh, bloody. Ooh, look at that. So gross. So they took blood and they gave me a steroid and I'm waiting on a breathing treatment and an x-ray. I do not feel good at all. I feel gross. And I'm having a panic attack to boot. Yes. Okay guys, so I am back from the ER. Um, I'm on my other camera because my I was using my phone earlier because my other camera's in the car and I should probably go get it because it's getting cold. Anyway, look at that nastiness. Ew, look at that. Um, so when she put the IV in, I'm a little blurry. When she put the IV in, uh, if you can hear and feel a pop. I mean, it went right into the artery, but I don't know why. It's like sticking your uh, earring through your ear when um, it's closed up and you feel the pop. That's how it was. And I guess blood just shut out right at her she's like whoa but so there was that um they did an ekg they did um an x-ray and they took blood work there was no infection in the blood work um no pneumonia in the x-rays basically my chest is like it's swollen on the inside so they gave me prednisone earlier on and a breathing treatment and more prednisone before I left. So I'm on steroids, like majorly right now. I'm gonna get strong. Uh, no, but I was really, really scared. I have really bad anxiety. And so the pain, I've been feeling pain in the middle of my chest. That's why they did the EKG, which I knew it wasn't my heart, but you know, I guess safe than sorry. And so um, I knew that it wasn't going to be good for my husband nor myself if I stayed here and waited for the doctor's appointment at 4 o'clock tomorrow, uh, which is today for you guys. Um, so by the time I got to the hospital, I was having a pretty bad panic attack. You can't tell in the earlier footage, but I was really having a bad panic attack. Um, when she took my pulse, my heart was racing and that could have been the albuterol. It could have been my anxiety. It could have been both. I don't know. But so basically my, my chest the insides are swollen and so I have to be on prednisone, which is a steroid, for the next 12 days and my inhaler like three times a day, three puffs three times a day. And hopefully it starts feeling better. My chest is already, when he listens to it, he's like, oh yeah, it's loosening up. So whatever it is, I'm just trying to cough more and that's good. So I was just really scared that they were going to admit me. I was like, all right, the two things that I thought could get me admitted was one, they were going to find pneumonia um, because of how long I've been sick. Um, or two, they wouldn't know what was going on so they would admit me. Those were my biggest fears is being admitted for one reason or another was just being admitted. And it's not because I'm scared of hospitals or because, oh my gosh, what if I'm so sick? It's not that. I just, I get really depressed. Like instantly, like sad and depressed. And I was just telling this to my husband that I get really depressed when um, I get admitted to the hospital. I'm not around my family. I'm not around the people I love. I instantly get sad and it spirals. I go and I spiral into depression. So 
I'm really happy when he came in and said I didn't have pneumonia, I didn't have an infection, and he put me on a steroid and stuff. Hey, you want to show your undies? Chris? What? Come here. You want to show your undies? I'll show you later. <laughs> Come here. You're just going to show your undies. Mm -hmm. So Chris was really, 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 really worried about me. Like he was sweating and crying and everything. Mainly because he didn't know what he was going to do without me if I died. Because five kids is enough to kill anybody. I was just trying to figure out dinner. <laughs> His head's cut off because he's so tall. But uh, that is the update because I had vlogged earlier on my phone and I didn't vlog anymore. And he's touching my butt right now. Um, um, anyway, so that is the update. Um, I will keep you guys updated. Hopefully it doesn't continue. But this vlog is basically me going to the hospital and freaking out like a moron. Well, not like a moron. Like it really, I think it was good that I went because I think, I don't think you could handle an anxiety attack. Because I think I would have ended up going regardless. And it would have just been later on. Mm -hmm. Why are you scratching your butt like that? I'm, I'm just messing with you. Your head is so out of the shot. <laughs> it just shows your eyes. Alright, I'm going to go. I will see you guys later. Thank you for those who uh, commented on my Facebook or whatever. You could almost think I have hair. I know. Like, if you could. He could possibly have hair if I just, you know. Not oh, no. No here. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Bye.